Behavior number one, we'll say, is paramagnetism. So this is probably the first one you would think of. If, if, if the last board was your introduction to, electro, to magnetism and matter, you might say, well, we had the case that in matter you get all these magnetic moments in all these random directions jiggling around due to orbit and spin and thermal motion, this big mess. If you apply a magnetic field, we know what we think should happen is those moments will align with a magnetic field, just like a compass, right? A compass aligns uh, with the Earth's magnetic field. So at the microscopic scale, it's also the same. You're going to tend to get them to go, maybe not perfect, but you'll get some alignment, uh, well, arrows is a poor choice, um, with a magnetic field. So a paramagnetic material is something that does that. So when you apply a magnetic field, it becomes, its, it's moments align, it becomes magnetized, it creates a magnetic field, it becomes a magnet. Problem with paramagnetism, or the reason, you know, not something you see all the time, is that it goes away. As soon as you turn off the magnetic field, it comes right back to this. It doesn't stay. Okay? So uh, that's as far as we go in freshman physics. If you take some more advanced uh, junior level E&M class, you'll learn about magnetic susceptibility and all this stuff that's really exciting um, about magnetism in materials. But that's pretty much it. Paramagnetism, apply a field, it lines it up, turn off the field, it goes back.